Hello, one and all, and welcome back to the Anomatron 6000, our patented device for projecting any seemingly improbable scenario for your viewing indulgence. And today, we decided to do something slightly different with it. Here at SCP Explained, we usually activate the Anomatron to bring you encounters between the anomalous denizens of the SCP universe and other fictional characters, like Doctor Strange fighting the Scarlet King, or Abel crossing paths with Batman. But this Anomatron experiment is one of our more unusual, to say the least. If you've been subscribed to us for a while, some of you might remember our video, What if SCP-096 was put inside SCP-914? In it, the Shy Guy was tricked into entering the input booth of the anomalous refinement machine during a containment breach. What emerged was maybe the handsomest man to ever live, beautiful both on the outside and within. A lot of our comments pointed out that this refined version of 096 felt akin to a Giga Chad, and that got us thinking. What if SCP-096 was to encounter the real Giga Chad? Well, the Anomatron 6000 has a few different answers for us. Scenario 1, or as we like to call it, the obvious outcome, pits the thin humanoid anomaly against the man behind the meme. Ernest Kalimov is a Russian fitness trainer and model, forever immortalized in the annals of internet history by a series of black and white photoshopped pictures that garnered him the nickname of Giga Chad. Thanks to his practically perfect 90-degree jawline and muscular physique, Kalimov seemingly unknowingly became the archetype for the ultra-masculine, handsome man. However, the man behind the Giga Chad meme is still just a man. The infamous photos of him were heavily edited for an art project known as Sleek in Tears, and while Ernest does sport some impressive muscles from all his time at the gym, that strength isn't enough to save him from the Shy Guy. After all, he is still just a man. According to the Anomatron's predictions, the most likely outcome, if the two were ever to meet, would end pretty similarly to the grim fate of many others who have gazed upon the face of SCP-096. The moment Ernest looks at the creature, he would, in all likelihood, activate 096's rage state. His physique and above-average level of fitness might give him a slight advantage, allowing him to perhaps outrun the Shy Guy for longer than most, but ultimately, Ernest Kalimov would be able to run, but not hide, from SCP-096. The creature would track him down and hone in on him with anomalous speed, dispatching him before returning to its usual docile sobbing state. The result? An SCP-096 victory. Now we know what you're thinking, is that really it? We had the same reaction too. But hold on for a minute. After giving the machine an additional set of variables, we were able to get a few more interesting outcomes out of the Anomatron. Which brings us to the result that we've given the title of Scenario 2, Shy Harder. Of course, Ernest Kalimov might be the face of an internet meme, and ultimately just a very strong Russian man in comparison to the anomalous traits of SCP-096, but the Giga Chad? The Giga Chad is more than a man so much more than the sum of his parts. Existing within the online zeitgeist since as early as 2017, the Giga Chad is far more powerful than a mere mortal. He doesn't just represent idealized standards of over-exaggerated masculinity like the action movie heroes of the 1980s. The Giga Chad embodies those ideas. He is the very notion of a physically perfected human specimen given form. You may not like it, but peak performance doesn't even come close to the Giga Chad, and neither does SCP-096. Even at the top of its game, the creature quite literally pales in comparison to its imposing opponent. In Scenario 2, Shy Harder, the Anomatron 6000 predicted that if the two were to meet, the scales would tip in the complete opposite direction from the first outcome. For that was SCP-096 against the man, but against the meme himself. Well, this fight is no contest. As a matter of fact, it's hardly even a fight, certainly not a fair one, and instead is more of an execution. From the moment the unstoppable tower of muscle and perfect angular jawline that is the Giga Chad clasps eyes on SCP-096, it's practically the beginning of the end. The Shy Guy doesn't even lift, bro. But Giga Chad can bench one million times his own body weight in his sleep. So when SCP-096 comes racing towards him, intent on killing him just for looking at its screeching, wide-jawed face, the Giga Chad does what the Giga Chad does best. He lifts. 
grabbing SCP-096 with ease as it comes to him screeching. Gigachad casually hoists the creature off the ground. Although he's only using the tiniest portion of his immense and infinite strength, it's more than enough force to send the Shy Guy soaring upwards, crashing through multiple ceilings as it's sent hurtling up the numerous floors of the Foundation facility above. Of course, being lifted is hardly going to kill the Shy Guy outright. The creature is known to be invulnerable, after all. But it's not like Gigachad can go down easily, either. Don't forget, this is no mere mortal, but an internet meme incarnate. And on the internet, nothing ever dies. His perpetual existence as part of online history aside, the Gigachad is so strong that no doubt his abs could withstand the firepower of any conventional weapon. Realizing that, even if it could reach him, it couldn't even scratch the Gigachad, SCP-096 would undoubtedly begin a downward spiral. The Shy Guy is a creature so insecure in itself and its appearance that it kills anyone who so much as glances at its face in photos. So being presented with the living embodiment of an idea it could never even hope to attain, the biceps, the perfect right-angled jawline, it's all too much. Sending SCP-096 into a complete meltdown, the creature would be neutralized once and for all by the very existence of the Gigachad, resulting in his victory. Okay, so we're one point to SCP-096 and one to Gigachad, and most people would maybe consider leaving it there. But not us. We wanted more than that. You see, we quickly realized that the Anomatron's second scenario was based on a lot of earlier iterations of the Gigachad meme. Don't get us wrong, that version of the Ultimate Man could still easily destroy the Shy Guy. But around March of 2021, the infamous photoshopped images of Ernst Kalimov started to be used in slightly different formats. That's the thing about memes. They're not only immortal, forever logged in the ancient texts of the Wayback Machine and compilation videos here on YouTube, but memes are also adaptable. They can evolve and change, finding new variations as time goes on. As such, the average fan versus average enjoyer meme saw a new use of the Gigachad. Before, the Gigachad, this notion of the ideal ultra-masculine specimen was based on, let's be honest, some pretty outdated ideas about what it means to be a man. After all, it takes more than muscle to be a man. Not every man or masculine presenting person has to work out until they're built like a brick wall. Perhaps the real measure of a man is how sincere, sensitive, and supportive you can be, as well as standing by your interests rather than caving to old societal standards of masculinity. And after we updated our data, the Anomatron 6000 was able to give us a new revised outcome, or what we like to call Scenario 3, the average SCP-096 enjoyer. In this projection, the Gigachad's true strength isn't just his masculine physique and his unattainable standards. Instead, it's, in part, the inherent adaptability of his status as a meme, but also his compassion. Just like before, he's more than able to resist SCP-096's attacks, and the creature's insecurity comes out, put on full display when presented with Gigachad's sharp jawline. But rather than overcome his anomalous adversary by fighting him, this scenario sees the Gigachad comforting the Shy Guy. Through calm empathy and words of affirmation, he reminds SCP-096 that true acceptance of oneself comes from within, and that message strikes a chord with the creature. In a turn of events none of us saw coming, the Gigachad offers to help SCP-096 overcome his crippling and deadly sense of insecurity. The pair start using the on-site gym together, after hours when there aren't any innocent Foundation personnel around. There, Giga Chad not only offers to introduce SCP-096 to an exercise regimen, if that's what the creature wants, but also helps the Shy Guy work on his confidence. They form a friendship, with SCP-096 taking a liking to working out, not because it wants to be buff like its new friend, the Gigachad, but more so because doing so makes it feel more comfortable in its own skin. SCP-096 gradually starts to like itself more, even eating healthier thanks to Gigachad's advice. Eventually, the Shy Guy begins looking far more content and even starts to develop self-confidence. It's not often that a story involving SCP-096 exists with the creature getting to achieve some semblance of happiness. Well, there is one that comes to mind. 
the very same Shy Guy story that sent us on this particular streak of pitting it against the Giga Chad in the first place. But what if we put them together? Would coming across a refined SCP-096 spell the end for the Giga Chad? Or would the muscular, masculine meme undo the Shy Guy's previous happy ending? Well, according to the Anomatron 6000, neither. When we last left him, after being turned into a handsome, nine-foot-tall man, SCP-096 had just started going by the name David. SCP-978, the desired camera, had been used to photograph the refined Shy Guy. It showed him holding hands with the Foundation scientist responsible for his transformation, who had studied the new and improved SCP-096 in great detail. She had quite the understanding of him. But perhaps the photograph from the desired camera was more of a metaphor, and what SCP-096, or David, really desired wasn't specifically the researcher who'd studied him, but a partner who understood him. Someone to call an equal. Enter the Giga Chad. According to the calculations made by the Anomatron, the embodiment of ultimate masculinity, both strong and sensitive, came bursting into the Foundation facility. There, the moment he and David saw each other was like the meeting of an unstoppable force and an immovable object. Neither one rushed to solve the encounter with violence. Both the Giga Chad and SCP-096 appreciated each other's aesthetic appeal. Both were remarkably handsome, and one couldn't bear the thought of ridding the world of the other. Instead, it was love at first sight. Both David, formerly known as SCP-096, and the Giga Chad fell head over heels in love with each other, and looking at both, it was not hard to see why. They were a pair of fine, perfectly chiseled fellas, and they instantly hit it off. The newly established couple enjoyed each other's company, spending time in deep conversations, SCP-096 introducing his new partner to his friends at the Foundation, while Gigachad was comfortable with his own masculinity to express his feelings towards David without fear or judgment. No relationship is perfect, of course. For a short time, a sliver of David's old self re-emerged. The shy guy in him worried that perhaps his relationship with the Giga Chad was based purely on both of their extreme good looks, and was nothing more than superficial. But by being an embodiment of healthy, idealized masculinity, the Giga Chad was able to sense something was wrong with David. And rather do the insecure thing of letting it fester, he addressed it directly, and they discussed the issue in a healthy, mature, and constructive way. Not just so they could put SCP-096's worry to rest, but so that both of them could further strengthen their relationship and grow as people. And of course, Giga Chad wasn't just attracted to SCP-096's refined good looks. Far from being superficial, he recognized that David was a complete person, beautiful both inside and out, and loved him as a whole, not just because they were both conventionally attractive on the surface, SCP-096 and the Giga Chad stayed together for the rest of their lives, or as we decided to name this fourth scenario from the Anomatron, happily ever after. Now go and check out Can SCP-096 Chase Its Victims Across the Multiverse? And SCP-096 Tale, A Lesson in Power for more SCP-096.